Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today, by request, we're doing the Kentucky Hot Brown Burger. Let's get going. All right, now this request came from one of my subscribers, Brian Williams. Brian wanted to see me create a hamburger version of the famous Kentucky Hot Brown. Now the Kentucky Hot Brown is actually a roasted turkey sandwich served open face with a Mornay sauce on it. It was born in the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. So what I wanted to do was keep it as close to that original recipe as I could, but again, make it into a hamburger. So what I've done is I've ground some turkey meat. All right, now this is the meat from two turkey legs. And what I did was I ground up the turkey leg meat along with about five ounces of salt pork. Wanted to add a little extra fat, a little extra flavor to the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and make those patties. And I'm shooting for about one third of a pound or so. I'm not weighing it, I'm just kind of guesstimating here. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna place the patty in the fridge. I want it to just tighten up a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to go outside and get the grill ready, I'll meet you outside. All right, so we're gonna start off this recipe by making that Mornay sauce. And this is actually the recipe I pulled off of the Brown Hotel website. So we're gonna start off with one and a half tablespoons of butter. This is salted butter. Just wanna get this melted in my cast iron skillet. Right, I have here a little all-purpose flour. We're just gonna create a roux. Just gonna whisk this in. This is about one and a half tablespoons total we're going to add. All right, starting to brown up here, we're gonna add some heavy cream. I have one and a half cups of heavy cream. I'm gonna slowly add it into this flour and butter mixture here. All right, so bubbling's getting nice and thick. We're going to add some nice freshly grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Just gonna whisk this into the uh, mixture here. This is a quarter cup, by the way. All right, that's looking good. Now we're going to add a nice pinch of nutmeg, pepper, some kosher salt to taste here. All right, and the Mornay sauce is done. Go ahead and pull this off the heat, and set this to the side here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get that patty going. Just gonna season it with some kosher salt, a little black pepper. bit more kosher salt, a little bit more black pepper. All right, while the patty's cooking, I have my little lid here that I made to melt cheese. I'm gonna set this over to the coals. I have a light layer of coals just running down the center. I wanna get this preheated, you'll see why in a sec. Now I'm going to take two slices of bacon, get those going here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip this burger. Now I flipped it a little earlier than I normally would, and you'll see why. I have here two nice thin slices of Roma tomatoes. Got Mornay sauce. Some more Romano cheese. Now that lid that I was preheating. Now, the Brown Hotel, again, this is an open face sandwich, so I wanted to use thick cut toast like they use on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this just buttered. Give this a nice toasting here. All right, let's get this bacon off onto some paper towels. All 
the bread is done. All right, let's go ahead and make the sandwich now. Look at that. Little paprika. Little freshly chopped parsley here. And there we go. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? I can actually smell those tomatoes, like cooked tomatoes. So look at that. Cheers, guys. Definitely something very different for me. I'm not used to a hamburger with like a cooked tomato on it. And that Mornay sauce is really good. Hats off to the the Brown Hotel. Anyway guys, hope you give this a shot. It's, it's really good. It's definitely worth trying. See you on the next video. Cheers.